Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to do a quick uh, unboxing of Talon from GT Games, uh, designed by Jim Crone, who, de who designed um, Space Empires 4 uh, and its expansions, as well as uh, Worthington's Band of Brothers series. So, uh, this is now a, a space combat game, not necessarily ship to ship like a, wing, a uh, X Wing, but more of kind of like small fleet battles. Um, so let's see what you got inside. Whew, it is a heavy, heavy box. I don't know how much the same way is probably heavy, about four or five pounds. Dig in here. Beautiful art on the cover by Eric Williams. So showing the blues against the browns, I guess Talon Fleet versus the Terran Fleet. Oh man. Heavy, heavy. Let's see what we got here. We have bags. Lots of bags. We have the dice, two white six-sided, standard six-sided. Two dry erase markers, and this one's interesting. This game is interesting because you actually you're supposed to write on the ship markers, ship counters, which are laminated, to take dry erase marker and be obviously erasable. Um, so that'll be interesting because as the as the abilities change, you can uh, up and increase them, increase their power, things like that, and you directly indicate it instead of having to do some offboard tracking. Got the rules of play, which clock in at a whopping 16 pages. Um, so it's a simple game to learn, full color, very nice. Ship marker, some of the writing on it. Got a playbook, which includes uh, the rule start, I guess. The rule book goes to rule section 19 that starts at 20, covers that, and then 26 is the scenarios, of which there are 12 in the game. Way to design your own scenarios, a campaign game, uh, so on and so forth. A whole lot of examples of play. This one actually clocks in at 40 pages. Uh, score sheets, examples of play, different ship, uh, ship design and fleet doctrine. Also, again, fall color. Oh, that's going to look really, really awesome to play. Okay, there's that. Got ship record cards. Just a few of these. I assume you make copies of these if you want to do them. You'll track things that way and damage. Um, looks to be about six of these, maybe eight. Just a little notepad full of them. So definitely something you would want to do single-sided. There's definitely something you would want to uh, make additional copies of, and I bet they're downloadable. And you could just print them instead of copying them. Combat table. Reference chart. Double-sided. Critical damage. Very cool. Then we have the Empire War Mat. Got the Antares Sector, and again, this will make more sense, I guess, as I read the rules and play it. You start here, I guess you work your way through and do certain battles. This may be for the campaign game, maybe. Single-sided. This box is so tall, you want to hit the camera as I move things. Uh, impulse track. Depending on your power curve, I believe, these numbers, if I'm remembering right, Indicate when you move. So your power curves of three, you would move in phase B, phase D, and phase F. If it's four, you move in A, C, D, and F. Six moves in all of them, so on and so forth. So uh, cool, pretty awesome. Don't hold me to that. It's just a old guy's memory of what I've read. Uh, one and a half sheet of counters. Uh, these are half inch counters. Um, to my basic. Status markers for indicators, power curve. This tells you what uh, phase you're operating in. 
And here are the sheets. Some of the counters. And they are large. So here's the, you know, for comparison, this half inch counter. Um, these are pretty big. Got punch work. So there's, there's an SC Voyager right there. It's Talon Fleet. Or it says Talon, it may be Terran Fleet. But, uh, that's what the counter looks like. I love how we're getting from GMT, like with Wing Leader, getting um, larger otter shaped uh, counters made. Um, they had the plain uh, counters, which were pretty normal, but then you also had the, the uh, thick, uh, plain information tiles that were used too, so they were also made out of counter material. Yeah. So we have blue and we have brown. I don't know, I guess it's which is which. Blue, I guess, was Terran, perhaps. Again, just guessing. Uh, so you get squadrons as well, which are some smaller ships grouped together. Um, these definitely do have a coating on them for riding, riding and racing. Some people have reported issues with their racing, so I'm not sure. So we got that. And we got our map. We've lost all the lots. It's actually a two-part map. No. Yeah, it's a two-part map. So it's a half map. It says right there. And I guess this is the whole map. So I will try to open the half map, but it appears that it's mostly going to be just a big maybe star field and like space empires or hex field. So I assume some of the shorter scenarios are going to be played on the half map. Yeah, so it's just a star field. Very nice quality though, no border. And the hexes run right to the edge. So. Very cool. That is what you get in the game. Talon. Uh, seems like with 12 scenarios, there's a lot of game packed in these few counters. Um, it's definitely solitaire playable. And I'm looking forward to getting into it. So now you know what's in the box, and you can make the decision if you want to get it yourself. Thanks.